Hi, welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. We just got done with our 99 mile canoe trip through the Florida Everglades, and I thought I'd show you our bucket system that Mike came up with to store all our drinking water and our food for the whole trip. So this was an eight day canoe trip with two people. So that's one gallon per person per day. Now this was brackish water, advertised as brackish and salt water mix. There was some fresh water, available we didn't really know that at the time we could have probably brought less water but it's better safe than sorry when you're out there so what my buddy mike came up with was gamma seals in five gallon buckets these gamma seals crank down tight we get excess one five gallon bucket at a time to keep the other three clean and best of all when we were done we could nest the buckets and have more room in the canoe so he bought all new white buckets. So we had brand new, food safe, clean white buckets. So Mike chose white because it was going to suck in the heat the least. It was in the upper 80s the entire week we were out there. So these are super common to get. They stack up when we're done. And when we're done with the trip, he has a lot less stuff to store. So he had blue because that was the other color choice he had designated for our food buckets. And you can see here, when we're done with one water, we can nest it out. So we had two food buckets, one of them had all our dinners. So I had my food mailed down to Mike down in Florida. Mike had all the breakfast and snacks in another pail. So we had one lunch and breakfast pail and the other one that exclusively had dinner. And you can see these gamma seals are watertight. You still got some residual canoe water from the bay crossings on top of this one. So like the water buckets broke down, the food buckets, once they got low enough, converted into a garbage pail. So we emptied out, we barely had any dinners left, we had a dinner apiece, and plenty of snacks and breakfast because we didn't go through that many breakfast meals. So the other bucket contains most of our breakfast. This one has uh, some of the other cooking implements, but mostly it's garbage right now. So this was a great idea with the buckets and the gamma seals. I like the fact that you know they're color coordinated so you know what's what. Uh, this is kind of similar to the canoe barrels that are so popular. Their 60 liter and 10 liter are usually what's the most common. So this is a little bit smaller, but it's a lot easier to find. Uh, I think I'm going to adopt this system. Uh, normally on my trips, we don't have to carry fresh water. So we have less water buckets just to start with. But I like the idea of having a cook bucket. I like the idea of having all your meals and stuff in a uh, rodent resistant container. Now, if you were in an area with bears, obviously this is not bear resistant, but I know this is raccoon resistant. I've got scratches all over my own gamma seals from raccoons trying to get into containers. Uh, also, on the island specifically, there was a lot of rats, so we had rats running around all night. Uh, I did not see any scratches in the, in the barrels. They could chew through them, but not without us hearing it. So they were all kind of stacked where we could see them. And this is a good, safe way to get our food secure and dry throughout the whole trip. If this is the kind of thing you like to see, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell to be notified of my latest videos, and leave a comment in the comment box. You can also find me on Burning River Bushcraft at Instagram and Facebook. I also teach outdoor classes at OutdoorCore.com. Probably the only negative to the bucket system would be portaging. Uh, an Everglade trip like this was portage free. That was probably one of the better parts of the whole trip. Uh, I'm going to work on maybe a way to portage a couple of these buckets besides just carrying them by the handles. Uh, you could do that if you had a backpack on with your personal gear. You could grab a bucket in each hand. I suppose that would work okay. I'm going to look into other means and we'll explore this option in the future.